Hey guys, Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana. This is video number four of box number four of 21-22 NBA hoops. Um, we've had mixed results so far, about what I expected, I would say. I haven't hit anything really big. Uh, I haven't sent, uh, hit anything that I would ship to, uh, to PSA for $100, let's put it that way. A couple of Cade Cunningham bases, a Cade Cunningham insert. Uh, I don't think I've hit anything that's $100 uh, grade, uh, grading fee worthy yet, but uh, I don't waste any time. We're going to keep rocking and rolling. Lucas Dortz, Aaron Baines, Chris Middleton, Kyle Kuzma, Jalen Smith, Jakob Pertl. We've got a, here we go, my first Evan Mobley in three boxes. I haven't gotten one Evan Mobley, but here's a Evan Mobley insert and then a Corey Kispert base. So the Evan Mobley probably, even though it's an insert rookie card, will go into a sleeve and top loader and put that up there in the top left. Um, let's see what we got. It looks like we got an Alperin Shingoon rookie, but a Bobby Portis, Drummond, Steph Curry, uh, Kelly Oubre, DeAndre Hunter, Desmond Bain, and then we've been hitting these road to the finals. These are some um, pretty high serial numbered inserts, but it's a Donovan Mitchell number to 2021. We have noticed that, uh, and again, I'm just learning the product. I did no research. There's your Alfred and Shingoon with the weirdest pose ever. Like he's, I don't know what he's doing. Um, but uh, we've noticed on these road to the finals inserts, they're numbered either. To, so far, I've seen number to 2021. Uh, number to 999 and number to 499. So I don't know if they go lower. They probably do go lower. Uh, I'm not sure, but most of the ones I've seen are numbered to 2021, not surprisingly. Ricky Rubio, Damian Lillard, JV, Michael Bridges. We've got a Jaden McDaniel, Spencer Dinwiddie. Here's a high voltage Tatum. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Um, high voltage Tatum. That actually looks pretty good with his green. And then an Usman Garuba base. Uh, rookie card. If you haven't seen the first three videos, there's an autograph in each box, one per box on average. I have been over three. Um, so uh, hopefully, maybe we can break out of the funk and I can pull a nice uh, autograph card in this pack. Uh, they are sticker autographs, which is no good. Here's another Chris Paul. So I think last pack I, I pulled the Chris Paul number to 499. Here's a Chris Paul number to, um, I'm sorry, uh, number to 2021. Here's a Chris Paul. As you can see, these are the road to the finals, and this one's number two. I don't know if y'all can see that. $4.99. Uh, and then a base, uh, JTA, Juan Toscano Anderson. Uh, so far, it's just a bunch of junk, guys. It's not good. Come on, I thought box number four was going to be something. A second year, LaMelo, base, SGA, uh, Bogdan, Thaddeus Young, Kyle Lowry, uh, a cool prime twine, Zach Levine, and then a Jalen Johnson rookie card. Those prime twine inserts are pretty cool looking. Um, it seems like they've been pretty rare. I don't know. The inserts are, are inserts or parallels are coming one per pack. So it's one or the other uh, from what I've seen. And then I've actually seen some packs with none. Cat, uh, TJ Warren, Lonzo Ball. Here's an insert. Keon Johnson, now playing rookie insert. And then a uh, Sharif Cooper uh, base rookie card. Wow, this is, box has been trash for the first few packs. Let's see if we can step it up here and pull a card that's at least worth a top loader, right? Uh, Joel Embiid in the MVP voting. Boban, famous actor from John Wick 3. Duncan Robinson, CJ, talk of trade rumors. Trey Young Bass. And then we've got a uh, Steph Curry hoopla insert. So far we've seen some studs in hoopla. I think I've seen LeBron, got Steph, and then, damn, I can't remember who the last one was. And then a Miles McBride, Knicks base rookie card. If it's a Nick and it's a rookie, you know it's not going to be relevant. I heard a most amazing statistic ever um, the other day. The last New York Nick first round pick to sign a second contract after his rookie year, after his rookie contract, the last first round draft pick for the New York Knicks to sign a second contract is Charlie Ward. Uh, 25, 26 years ago. Go look it up. Uh, crazy stat, right? That's crazy. All right. Uh, RJ Hampton, Russell Westbrook, PJ Washington, Bogdan, John Morant, uh, a purple parallel, Kelly Oubre, and then a Brandon Boston Jr. base rookie card. I like Brandon Boston Jr. He's on my radar. Uh, he's getting kind of sporadic minutes in uh in clipper land i'm not sure why but the clippers are kind of winning some games and they're not like in total tank mode right now i'm not i'm not sure why they're doing that 
Maybe they're not trying, I don't, but I don't know how Marcus Morris and Reggie Jackson are winning games. Ennis Cantor, Kevin Love, Eric Gordon, uh, DeMar DeRozan, Fournier, D'Angelo Russell, Aiton, and Isaiah Jackson, base rookie card. That did not have a parallel in there. That is one of the examples of a pack with no parallel. Uh, here's a Tyrese Halliburton, second year, Peyton Pritchard, Okoro, uh, Millsap, Miles Turner, Vujicic, here is a purple. Now we're talking. Okay, so best card I pulled in any of the four boxes. It's not perfect centering, uh, but a Cade Cunningham purple parallel is definitely the biggest card I've pulled. And there is the damn Santi Adama again. I mean, these boxes have had a Santi Adama theme. So this uh, this Cade Cunningham is definitely the best card that I have pulled yet. So we'll put him right there next to Evan Mobley. He definitely goes in a, in a sleeve, and he's probably pushing... Um, I wish it was a serial numbered parallel, but that Cade Cunningham purple may be something to consider sending to PSA if I can get it in, get it back, uh, get it on the market quick enough. Zion Base, Darius Baisley, Devin Booker, uh, KCP, Jay Crowder, Lonnie Walker. These are cool, guys. These are really cool. It's uh, a Ben Simmons Jamtastic. I like these inserts. These are good looking. Um, Hoops really does have some clean, good looking inserts. The foil, these are going to be hard to grade, y'all. Trey Murphy Base. Uh, these are going to be real hard to grade. I'm going to throw them up there uh, and just put it into the side. I I'm not sure which inserts are more rare than others. Maybe they're all the same rarity. I I've done, like I said, no research on the product, so I don't know what I'm talking about as far as scarcity or pack odds or any of that stuff. Anthony Davis, Markel Fultz, Jeremy Grant, Quickly, Kennard, Avdija, Isaiah Jackson, insert parallel, and a Bones Highland uh, base rookie card. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, about that purple Cade Cunningham. Uh, I, I probably am not going to go out and buy a bunch of Cade Cunninghams because I'm assuming his price point is going to be Zion-like. Um, you know, so uh, I'm probably not going to go out and chase that just like I didn't chase LaMelo or Ann Edwards. Um, but uh, but it's nice to pull one. That's pretty cool. Kimball Walker. Uh, can we get some good ones? Okay, so we got a Josh Giddy insert rookie card. And then we've got an Isaiah Livers. Nothing to write home about there. Uh Let's see if we can build off our off our purple Cade Cunningham momentum. See what we can do. Uh, John Wall, gosh, free John Wall. Get him out of there. Just don't let him play. I don't want him to slow down KPJ and Jalen Green, uh, their development. Brandon Ingram, James Harden, uh, RJ Barrett, Paul George, Davis Bertans, uh, a Desmond Bain, numbered to 199. I know there's a lot of Desmond Bain fans out there. He's a good glue guy. And then a uh, an, an actually, well, no, this one's off-centered the other way. Uh, a Scotty Barnes uh, base rookie card. I wonder who, what, everybody watching this video, comment below. Would you put a Desmond Bain hoops uh, second year numbered to 199 card in a penny sleeve and top loader, or would you just throw it in a box? I'm curious to see what people think. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, um, Cameron Johnson, Royce O'Neal, Doug McDermott. A Trey Young, uh, High Court, and then a Joe Wieskamp rookie. Again, never heard of Joe Wieskamp. He's not getting any run in San Antonio, or I would have at least seen his face at some point. Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, we've got Jay Sean Tate, Kira Lewis, Poku, uh, Malik Beasley, who's having a, actually, a, I think he's like, if he's not leading, he's like second in the NBA and like threes made, which is crazy. Uh, Montrez Harrell, Rudy Gobert. Uh, now playing Usman Garuba and then a Davion Mitchell uh, base hoops. I've said it before. A lot of people are high on Davion Mitchell. Uh, I think he's a nice little guy. I just don't think he's a. I don't think he's a star in the making. I think he's just a role player type guy. Um, I don't. I just don't see it. Uh, Devontae Graham, Clay Thompson, a Doncic base. Uh, P.J. Tucker, Mason Plumlee, John Collins. Here's a Jalen uh, Jalen Green now playing insert in a Herbert Jones uh, base card. Jalen Green now playing insert rookie card. We'll put that up there. Probably sleeve and top load that guy. Um, just in case. All right. Uh, Brooke Lopez, Ben Simmons, Terrence Ross, Tyler Hero, uh, Robert Covington, Kevin Herter, We've got uh, another Trey Young City Edition. I like this card. I'm going to put that one in a sleeve and top loader. I like that card. And then a Jason Preston base rookie card. 
Uh, he's got the MLK jersey on. That's just a really good looking card. Um, that Trey Young City. Can y'all see it? The City Editions are cool. I liked them in prior years, and this is kind of like a, a continued theme for hoops. Um, I really like those cards. I think they look good. Uh, I thought they looked good right when they came out. Um, just right away, I was like, oh, that's that's a good-looking insert. God, I'm killing something here. Here we go. All right. Let's put our tray back over there. Uh, we got Gary Trent, DiVincenzo, Seth Curry, Anthony Edwards. Put him over there, second-year base. Kelton Johnson, bam. Uh, Legends of the Ball, uh, Jerry West. And is that... What is this up here at the top? Can y'all see that that discoloration, that black? I don't know what that is. That's terrible. Panini does it again. Um, yeah, it's not numbered. I don't really know. Legends of the ball. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Uh, and then a Josh Giddy base, which is actually pretty well centered. Very excited. Um, again, I don't know what you guys would do. What would you do with Josh Giddy and Jalen Green and Scotty Barnes and these base hoops? Uh, Cade Cunningham's. I mean, you can't, you can't send those cards for a hundred dollars to grade. I mean, these, you know, I'm not naive. I mean, I'm opening the product. I like what I see. I like the product. But here we go. We got a Moses Moody. Oh, and a Trey. Man this is weird. Okay, so a Moses Moody, NBA hoops horizontal hot signatures. Okay, so that's a cool card. I'm not uh, Moses Moody's not getting the run he needs, but I know a lot of people were high on him coming out. Um, that's a good looking card, man. Uh, it's horizontal, which some people don't like. I don't mind it. Um, that'll go on a sleeve and a top loader. Um, and then uh, we got a Trey Mann uh, insert rookie and then a Charles Bassey. So three rookies in that pack. Wait, is that a, yeah, Moses Moody is a rookie, yeah. Um, like what would you guys do with like these base rookie cards? I mean, I, I'm not sending these cards to PSA for $100. Do you just put them, you, you know, do you, do you take the centered ones you put them in penny sleeves and a semi-rigid and just wait and just pray that Nate, uh, Nat Turner keeps his word and uh, at some point $20 comes back. Um, I don't know. I don't, you tell me what you would do with them. I'm curious. Uh, I'm honestly going to put you know, the top seven or eight rookies in a sleeve and top loader uh, and just sit on them and just wait to see what PSA does. Ugh, missed on this one. So we got a Jalen Green uh, base, which is pretty well centered. I'm happy about that. So that's good. We'll put him in a sleeve and top loader. And then we've got a Spencer Dinwiddie green parallel number to nine ninety nine. Um, Spencer Dinwiddie cashed in, making a bunch of money up in Washington. Um, so that Moses Moody was the best autograph of the four boxes. Uh, although I would still say the best card um, is the Cade Cunningham purple parallel, probably even though it's not numbered. It's still probably the best card. There's my guy Kevin Porter. I was wondering if he had a card in the set. Um, so those of you who don't know, I have a huge Kevin Porter collection. Um, just shy of my Anthony Simons collection as far as prospects go. Julius Randle, Zach Levine, Kawhi. Here's a now playing uh, Josh Primo. Uh, like, I swear, every video makes him look like he's an absolute physical freak. He's not. He weighs like 180 pounds. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, Trey Mann, base, and Josh Primo now playing rookie insert. Two packs left, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. We're going to finish up right under 15 minutes. So I've stayed pretty consistent on these three videos. Um, I wish I could have pulled some more heat from you. Trust me, I wanted to. James Wiseman, Kleber, Rashawn Holmes, Norman Powell. Uh, we got a Kyle Anderson, Monty Morris, a Westbrook prime time, uh, prime twine, sorry. And then a Aaron Wiggins base rookie card. Last pack, is there any magic left in the holster? No, it is a James Booknight base. One day it might be relevant, but not this day. Uh, Chris Paul, Josh Jackson, Tobias Harris, Devin Vassell, Victor Oladipo, Miles Bridges, and then a Harold Miner. Harold Miner, zero gravity. They must have just taken a bunch of dunkers and thrown them in here because he was only a dunker. Um, if you're a Harold Miner collector, it's yours free. Just pay me the shipping. Uh, that's it, guys. That was uh, box number four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, pretty cool product, you know, just in the recap. Um, you know, the, these boxes weren't that expensive. They're like 180 on eBay approximately, maybe to 200 bucks. I definitely did not get anywhere close to, to $800 in value from any of it, but it was fun. It was good for the channel. Hopefully you guys had some fun. Every video is supposed to educate or entertain. Hopefully this educated and entertained. We got to see a relatively new product and what it looks like and what the parallels and inserts look like. And, um, uh, Hopefully it was, uh, it was entertaining enough. I tried to keep them short because, again, not the sexiest product. Uh, but I do, uh, I am about to rip this product 
uh, which should be a little more exciting. A lot fewer cards. It's only seven cards. There's two autographs. It's 2021 Obsidian. So I'll be looking for uh, I'll be looking for the Ant Man or Lamelo in there. Wouldn't that be something? Uh, a little bit higher end product. Probably a mid tier product. I'd call it. Uh, but anyway, thanks guys for watching. Uh, always appreciate you. Peace.